was your first yoga experience like? It was kind of what I expected at first, a lot of like warrior two and tree pose and it was, it was about like balancing in different ways, holding holding yourself up in different shapes. And um, toward the end of class, we started going deeper. She had us in the seated kind of external hip stretch. And I was kind of struggling there. My hips weren't very flexible. And then realized it was just kind of a preparation for this arm balance where you like drape your leg over your arm and you put your hands down and stretch your legs out and you're like only on your hands and I tried at first and I couldn't so I sat and watched the people around me instead and some of them just moved into it with this grace and this sense of ease. I felt like they knew something I didn't about their bodies and I think that's why I went back again the second time. Usually we set an intention during practice, so usually it's whatever it is that day. And most of the time it's acceptance of wherever I'm at and like just loving acceptance. There's a word in Sanskrit called Maitri and it translates to like loving kindness. So that's usually what I, what I do um, to bring loving kindness to whatever thoughts, whatever emotions whatever feelings are at. Vinyasa in Sanskrit means breath and movement combined. So vinyasa yoga is the practice of combining breath and movement. It's a practice of presence. It's a practice of self-awareness. When we're moving through different shapes, we're focusing on how we feel in those shapes and we're noticing the changes and the progress in those shapes and in those sequences. And no one's gonna judge you. And I do it with my shirt off most often. That's just, awesome. It's just, I can't believe it doesn't make more people uncomfortable. But the yoga vibe is to be like, I don't care. I used to think the goals were to distract myself from the bad shit that, oh, I'm sorry, the bad things. That's fun. <laughs> and life were to like feel better, right? Like it uh -huh. used to be about like coming on the mat and like stretching, like, oh, I feel, I've relieved my tightness and it feels better now. But I think now, the practice is more about like learning how to better feel rather than to feel better, if that makes sense. Like you are kind of confronted with what you're actually dealing with in your life. Like spending time on your mat is just like spending time with yourself without any distractions. So you kind of like get to understand more of what it means to be yourself.